Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. I know there's nothing this way and it's just going to be bad. But we'll show ya. Yeah, those guys. Don't like them. We're going this way now. Besides that, we need the uh, dash boots to really get anywhere through there. Oh, look, we can go down here. Let's see what kills us down here. Oh look, our health is quickly draining, and we have a gate that needs a super missile to open. Not where we can do anything. I mean, I suppose there's also ways you could get through this potentially, in theory, without uh, the ability to stop the heat from draining your health, but um, I don't recommend trying it. Let's go through here and see what's going to kill us in this room. Oh, nothing. Oh, it's going to... yeah. We need dash boots. That's just a way to get back if you fail. And this is another place that is not going to be nice to our health. Called it. Yeah, so really the only thing you can do is get those jump boots and then come back up. But now that we have those jump boots, let's go put them to good use. I mean, we can't backtrack all the way back to... Oh, we have to reopen that thing. Okay. Well, I'm not ready to reopen that thing. I have a story about this room, too, when we get back to it. I'm not going to tell it right now, because it's not relevant right now. Just remind me to tell it later. Of course, by the time we get to later, I'll probably have this whole game recorded. Let's start by going up here. Be careful with that. That block will reform. Uh, if you fall down, you'll fall down right into the jaws of the big evil thing there. And you'll miss out on this, the spazzer. We like the spazzer, because we're a complete spaz. Oh wait, that can't be why. Uh, it makes our shot bigger. Or wider. We no longer have to duck down to hit enemies that are at our feet. In theory. And no, there's no other secret in there. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else we can do back that way. No, we cannot. So we have to go this way to the big evil uh, boss thing. We can charge our spazzer. As long as you keep moving and jumping, you can avoid those guys. We'll save our super missiles. At least for a little bit. Yeah, the other thing about super missiles is you won't get as many of those as uh, regular missiles. In fact, I think we're going to go quite a while before finding... We might find like one more pack of super missiles and it'll be quite a while before we find more. Yeah, two with one shot. Looks like we can't do anything here. Except we can. That door's blocked. Just uh, remember that door on our way back. And there's a secret here to get us up to here. Oh gosh, these guys. Ah, get me out of here. I don't know how I avoided all these guys. Eh, I knew it wasn't going to last forever. Uh, let's find the save room. Because saving seems like a good idea to me. And I don't 
think there's generally any secrets within the save rooms. I remember my dad watching him play was like the uh... <laughs> It's almost like watching paint dry. He would bomb, like, every square inch of everything. And then after one hour of doing that, find, like, one thing and just be like, yeah, you should be doing that like me. There's something shooting at us shooting lots of stuff at us. It's Mini Kraid. I think that's how he pronounced his name. Yeah, uh, we killed him. That's unfortunate. But not really. Well, let's go up here, because there's a secret up here. And this is an energy recharge and a missile recharge. Missile recharge only refills regular missiles. It's not a super missile recharge. So that's unfortunate. Otherwise, feel free to use that. You can use these... Yeah. Not supposed to be doing that. Be careful jumping through here. And then those fake doors, I just recommend a super missile. They'll take them out quickly, otherwise you gotta hit them multiple times and stuff. And it's time for really cool boss music. And as a normal tradition with this game, we can only hit him uh, with our charge shot, if we can even do that. Yeah. So first hit him in the eye with even a regular shot to get his, uh, you'll see his eye glow there. And then uh, hit him with a charge shot. Or a missile. Missiles work too. And then we get into the big battle here. You can still get him to open his mouth the uh, same way. We'll use a super missile. Look how quickly that made him become dark. I remember uh, me and my dad getting stuck on this boss for a long time. Only two energy tanks, and he's shooting stuff all over the place at us, and uh, I just made him look really easy. I still really like that boss fight music, though. Alright, let's see what we're gonna get now. The Varia suit. Transformation sequence, go! Our shoulders got bigger, I think. Uh, and now we're orange. So, what this suit does is it protects us from taking damage in the heat. So now we can go back to Norfair and explore that area. And if you need to recharge on anything, well, there's the recharge stations right up above. We still have Baby Crate here. Ah, too many guys too quickly. Yeah, our first time... Oh, yeah, and these guys just keep pumping uh, shots up there until they're all gone. First time playing this game, we must have spent like hours and hours just to get this far and uh, getting stuck on everything. Ah, oh, no! Evil! Evil guys, drain us! Uh, they're only hurt by bombs, and it looks like this room is kind of useless, but uh, there's an energy tank hidden in there. the things. Ah, okay. 
We haven't shown the game over sequence yet, and chances are we probably won't. Unless I do it purposefully. Well, let's take the televator back down. And we'll probably save our game and stop here. And we'll see you guys in the next part. Gosh, I can't believe we're at, like, what, part four and we've already beaten Kraid. Hmm, this is going very quickly.